During the early months of the war, most of the activity took place in the east. However, during late 1861 and early 1862, the focus of action shifted to the west of the rugged Appalachian Mountains. It was there that the North would win its first major victories. Northern citizens grew restless with the war effort, and Lincoln knew he needed a decisive victory to maintain popular support of the Union cause. Though McClellan had been doing a fine job in getting the troops ready, it wasn't enough. Lincoln wanted them to win battles. One of Lincoln's other generals, Ulysses S. Grant, had a plan that was bold and straightforward. He knew that the southern defensive line, which stretched from the Cumberland Gap in the east to the banks of the Mississippi River in the west, was severely undermanned. To hold it, the Confederate commander, General Albert Sidney Johnston, had over 40,000 troops, many of whom were untried in combat and woefully under-equipped. It was obvious to Grant that the key to military success west of the Appalachians was control of the Tennessee and Cumberland rivers. These provided perfect routes along which federal troops could move into Tennessee, Kentucky, northern Mississippi, and Alabama. To protect these vital waterways, the Confederates built two defensive works, Fort Henry and Fort Donelson. These would be Grant's first targets. And so early in February 1862, Grant began his drive. His first objective was the weaker of the two Confederate works, Fort Henry, located on the Tennessee River. As envisioned by Grant, the campaign would be a joint Army and Navy operation. As things turned out, the Union Navy gunboats rained such a devastating hail of shot and shell upon Fort Henry that its defenders struck their colors before Grant's infantry arrived on the scene. After a brief pause, Grant pushed on against his next target, Fort Donelson perched high on the bluffs overlooking the Cumberland River. The Confederates, realizing Grant's overwhelmed superiority, soon surrendered. When the Confederate commander asked Grant for the terms of surrender, Grant replied, No terms except unconditional and immediate surrender can be accepted. Grant soon became the North's newest hero, and the papers christened him Unconditional Surrender Grant. <laughs> 